Hey, hey, it's getting started out here in the northeast on the east coast. Give you a little preview of what's beginning to fall and beginning to start here. Just about starting. Um, I mean, I shouldn't say just about. It actually has been um, starting since earlier this morning. But they, they made out that we're going to see just a little bit of this. The wind has picked up a little bit, however. I do see it blowing a little bit more than usual. So uh, I guess it's going to get a little intensive. They said by 3 or 4 o'clock it should really, the wind should definitely stop picking up and howling around. Um, but hey, went out this morning. Thank you, bro. Help me get some extra firewood here for the fireplace because we... Believe it or not, went through so many racks of uh, of wood, so I um, I didn't get much, but I definitely got some. So I'm I'm hoping that that should last us hopefully um, for the rest of the storm anyway. So a little messy out there on my deck, but I'm getting ready. Went and just took Bry. He had actually a Regents today. Uh, that he had to take so I went and took him to that and then um, that should be over in a couple of hours and I'll go pick him up or he said he might get a ride I just don't like him being in the car with friends in this weather so I told him to be in touch as he said maybe the mom will pick them up so we'll see what happens um, because I don't want them driving around in this it gets you know dangerous and it's not good um, and then um, got the wood this morning. Thank you, bro. Shout out to Tom. Thanks so much for helping me with the wood. Uh, got some gas this morning. Just making sure the car's gas up now that we're going anywhere. Um, I'm going to stay in, probably hunker down for the next day or two uh, since this is supposed to really pick up and intensify uh, later tonight into the overnight and then most of the day tomorrow. So we'll keep you posted. I'll keep checking in from time to time, give you an update. Okay, so I thought I'd just get outside a little bit, um, shoveled a little bit in the yard. It's still coming down. I'm just starting to see a little more uh, get out here. I'm going to try to keep up with the deck as much as possible, but, you know, maybe got about three inches so far. Um, I'm going to go out front now and uh, at least do a preliminary shovel out there. Okay. We're getting a little more intense out here. Uh, did a little bit of shoveling. Didn't do the car yet. Um, but as fast as I'm shoveling, as fast as it's going back. So we might do one more round before Rob gets home and we'll see. I think I'm going to start the car and at least get that brushed off for now. Hey guys. <laughs> okay. So I'm out in the car. You don't even recognize me. I know it's me. It's T. <laughs> It's getting nasty out here. It's really starting to come down. And of course, I'm in the car. Don't ask me why I'm in the car. I was not expecting to go out again today. But I have a 16-year-old son who got a ride home from the Regents and then decides he needs his coat. Oh, so I'm going to head on over to his friend's house. Go bring him, well, besides his coat. He actually needed a change of clothes, some more socks, his charger, a bunch of stuff, which I'm, I'm going to bring to him because I'm the mommy, and why wouldn't I, right? <laughs> All right it's going to get a little difficult here because I really like vlogging and driving, you guys know that. Um, <laughs> and the roads are daddy nasty. When I get a minute, I will show you what they look like. Let's see if I can... Uh, kind of point the camera ahead of where I'm going. It's, uh, it's uh, definitely snowy out. Um, I don't want to be out here too long. He doesn't live too far away, so thank God it's not a big drive. Uh, but it is a drive, this big. It's definitely pretty. You know, it, 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 the snow is definitely pretty. It'll probably be very pretty but ugly <laughs> as the night goes on supposed to get winds, big winds, top wind speed of about 60, uh, possibly 70 miles per hour. I know further out east they're going to get maybe 75 mile per hour wind gusts. So that, that's a lot of winds. That's definitely a lot of wind. Uh, that wind is going to definitely cause some drifting. 
some a lot of blowing, but they have um, kind of you know declared a state of emergency in all the tri-state area. So for most of us, you know, they we're not even supposed to be on the roads after a specific time. Uh, I'm not sure what that time is. I think um, the states vary between 6 and 11 p.m. depending on where you're located. So. I have no intention on being out after that. I really honestly had no intention of being out right now. And uh, I'm going to take my time and just uh, slowly but surely head on over to Bry's friend's house and then head back. Um, do one more shovel so that Rob, when he does come home, will have at least a decent spot in the, in the driveway and a decent walkway done. But I'm not going to go crazy because... If this is only the beginning and we're going to get another 10 to 20 inches dumped on this, I'm not going to be too concerned about um, making it perfect. But slushy, yes, and it's definitely sticking even on the roads. Looks like maybe a sander finally was through here, you would think, with schools, because they didn't call schools today. Schools did go to the end of the day, just they canceled after school activities. Um, and they didn't cancel the regents today, so Brian did get to take his English regents, but they have canceled the regents for tomorrow. So Brian won't be taking his t his testing tomorrow, though I'm not sure that it was actually a regents that he had. I think it was just a social studies midterm. All right, guys, so I am just pulled back into the driveway. I just kind of backed it in. That's what we usually do to kind of make things easier. Um, gonna get out now and finish shoveling. I guess that means you're working tomorrow? Hell no. Well, what did you bring it home for? Huh? That was the intent. Oh, say hello. Hi! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's a blizzard out there. Yes, it is. Lots of drifting. At first glance, it doesn't look like anything. I looked out my bedroom window and my other side of the car, which you can't see, well, you can see the back of it, doesn't have any snow or the roof of the other side. I think it's just the way the snow is blowing because the snow is up against the car. Looks like the plow has actually been down the street, which I'm amazed about. Unbelievable. But yeah, there's a lot of snow out there. Not really sure how much yet. We'll get out in a little while. Rob's still laying down. I'm the early bird always. Um, although he's usually up if he has to go to work. Um, but right now he's not going anywhere until we dig ourselves out of this. Not that it's stopped, because it certainly hasn't stopped yet, and it's still blowing. Winds are still blowing. Not as, not as much as they were. I'll go take a peek out the yard, see what the yard looks like. Oh my, oh my. Oh boy, boy, boy. Yeah, it's still coming down. Still blowing around. Well, it's pretty high, I guess. Look at the barbecue here. I'll try to focus that in a little bit better. And you look at the left-hand side, that cover. Um, that's, it's actually a shelf. I purposely left it up. But I had cleaned it off completely uh, when I first shoveled back here. And that was probably about two to three inches. So didn't blow off of there. It doesn't seem to be drifting or blowing off of there. So I guess that's a good indicator of how much has fallen so far. Now they make out we're going to snow throughout the day. I don't know how true that is. Um, don't know if we got those 50 mile an hour wind gusts. Although there was some, some thunder. Thunder snow last night. I definitely heard some thunder. Um, so that was happening. Okay, so I wasn't so convinced before, but now I'm definitely convinced I'm married to a maniac. A nut job. <laughs> what, why were you convinced before? I don't know, but you've been doing nothing all morning but saying that word. What word? Delicious. And I'm the nut job. <laughs> Alright, so Rob and I are going to venture out into the supposed blizzard here. I don't know, we're going to have to have a chat on the couch this morning about the blizzard bomb out, I think. I don't know. Chat. shoveling to do. I mean, we're getting out to shovel now. I'm going to bring the folks with us. No, we're not. Yes, we are. The folks has got their own shoveling to do. <laughs> not I ain't coming over to shovel you out. <laughs> Honey, you're, you got your hands in your hood, not your sleeves. <laughs> I see that. I got my hand in my ass. <laughs> 
First time putting on one of these things. <laughs> oh. oh, stop. <laughs> Layers. Layers. Sweatshirt. Long sleeve shirt. I was going to put a turtleneck on. I didn't. But it is what it is. All right, so let's go out and the see. Let the turtles out of this. Let's see what's going on. Okay, here we go. Alright, happy day. I don't know, is it as bad? I don't know, my neighbors are close with the snowblower. Is it that bad? I don't know if it's that bad. Let's see. Eh, up to the top of my boot, maybe. I don't know if that's high enough. A little drift here on the front lawn with the the leaves, and it still is coming down. Still definitely coming down. Ah, I guess it's a little high. It's a big drift in front of the car. We'll see. Right. Well, I'm going to open the garage door. A little drift in front of the door. I don't know. I don't know that we really have 12 inches. Alright, check back in a bit. Okay, so I'm out in the car. Uh, not too hard to access it. Just the one side of the car had a little drifting on it, and the other side was pretty much completely clear. Uh, so I'm gonna just warm this baby up for a little bit, and I'm gonna pull it more towards the front of the driveway. Um, Rab's kind of giving me orders here. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is all right. So we'll let this run for a little while, turn the front and rear um, defrosters on, we'll put the temperature up. Alright, so back in the car, I'm going to back it in again. I think we've got most of the back of the driveway cleared out. Thank God in a way for the drifting, because in all honesty with the drifting, it kind of helped us um, with the shoveling. I will go as far as I can without hitting the garage. Well, the garage is open. I think that should do it. Smile, madman in the van. Madman in the van. Madman getting in the van. Madman driving out with the van. <laughs> I don't know. You know. They say we got all the snow. I mean, it's piled up pretty high. I don't know if we really got even a foot. I don't think the foot's pushing it. I guess it's close. I'd say it's all the drifting, I guess. I didn't do a great job with the stoop, did I? All right, maybe I'll fix it up. Well, I had to come back in the house. I'm a little done for the moment. Um. Of course, my stoop isn't great. I don't know why I didn't do a great job on the stoop. I guess I should fix it, but I don't know. Still looking at this, saying, eh, did we really get all that? I don't know that we really did, but it is what it is. Heard more coming on Friday. Woohoo! Happy day. All right, so as we wrap up this day of potential, um, blizzard maybe maybe a blizzard not really sure if we really can consider it a blizzard I don't know um, we're gonna take a little ride first time in the car um, we'll see I don't so the roads have been plowed pretty well today I do have to say that I don't know why we're having a two-hour delay tomorrow for schools they had all day to do this, but I guess they're still, and I noticed there's some corners and there are some streets they didn't 100% get to. We're kind of on a major thoroughfare, so they get to us a little quicker than others. Um, so the roads aren't terrible. It's kind of uh, what's left of our blizzard here in the Northeast. It's kind of over. Here it is about 7, 7 p.m. on Tuesday evening. Corners are a little slippery. 
You know, that's the one thing I do notice. I do notice they did plow, but I don't see a lot of sand marks. Usually they throw out um, not so much salt anymore. They tend to use a lot more sand than years gone by. Salt was a big thing, but, you know, the roads got really eaten up with the salt, so they, they do uh, use sand now a little bit more. And, and, and sand, to me, does help with a little more traction um, in the ground. So, yeah, it's a little slippery at these corners. Um, so I guess the plows are still going to work through the night and, and get those in shape. People were supposed to keep their cars off the road last night. I know we did. Um, most people on my block, I think, did that. Uh, I'm noticing here, though, as I drive along, not so many, no, not so much with other people. And, you know, I guess if you have one driveway and you've got three cars, there's, you know, unless you, you can uh, put one in the garage and tighten two up in the driveway, there's really no way that you can get three cars um, off the road. So I do see, you know, where that could be a, a, you know, problem. But for the most part, it's pretty cleared up. Passing a school here on my left, it, um, you know, it, it, it looks fairly good. It looks like, you know, the doorways have been cleared. So I guess they were working somewhat today. Uh, it's one of the elementary schools um, closer. Oh, actually, you know what? I see a guy now sl snow blowing the walk. So I guess they're working... Uh, yeah, probably slippery on that corner. That was a tough corner, and you know what? I just got on a pretty—I won't say a major road, but this is a big school bus road because a lot of the school bu buses do merge on this road. I'm going to turn off real quick because I don't have to stay on this road. Um, but you know, even this corner—wow, this is this is not a good corner. This corner definitely needs to be plowed, especially uh, school buses coming up and down this road. Uh, that was kind of a narrow, narrow um, opening for a turn. So they're going to have to work on some of this because uh, I do see where um, it could be an issue. And again, I see no sand on the road. We did have a sander down our road, but we didn't lose power this time because I don't really, you know, like they called this a blizzard. I didn't really see a blizzard effect. I heard some thunder snow last night and I heard a little bit of wind, but I don't know that they really categorized this when all was said and done as a as a blizzard. I know, uh, God, if you're up, my, uh, my cousin, I'm going to check in with him later. Um, I heard in 12 hours he got about 27 inches, but he's right on the outskirts um, of Boston, kind of New Hampshire, southern New Hampshire area. Um, so I know he did get quite a bit are coming. Um, and where is my child? I'm waiting for Brian to come out. He's supposed to be coming out from his friend's house. Um, and now I think I got myself stuck. Happy day. Um, great. All right, so I'll figure this out. This two, I will figure out. Great, happy day. Oh, man. got myself out. Boy, that was a little tough there for a minute. Where the heck is Bri? All right, I'm going to have to text him because he should be out by now. Oh, here he comes. All right, Bri Bri's here. All right, and we're going to sign off because I'm going to get going now. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.